Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and today we have a haul. the haul y'all know what to do hit the like button also if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification all right so honestly y'all this haul is not that important to be showing y'all but i am working on things behind the scenes and i haven't really had a video where i just came out and was like you know hang out chill in a little while so i just wanted to just make a video because i miss y'all so um I decided we went, the, the girls and I went to Joanne's yesterday and to Dollar Tree. So I thought I would just show y'all what we picked up just so that I can have a video. All right. But anyway, um, we first went to Joanne's. So our mind frame was we needed stuff uh, for Christmas. And also I have a, a baby quilt that I need to make and I needed some fabric for that. So our that's what our mind was. So I'm going to first show y'all what Cameron got from Joann's. Uh, if y'all y'all know, Cameron made a Halloween tie blanket out of flannel. And she's decided that it's so easy. She enjoys it that she wants to make one for every season, every holiday. So this is the fabric she picked for her Christmas one. And it is so cute. She her Okay the girls we're gonna have three trees in the house no we're gonna have four trees in the house the girls uh are each having their own tree in their bedroom i'm gonna have a tree in here and then we're gonna have our big tree downstairs so cameron's room she's decorating pink christmas so she's gonna do this on the front and this on the back and this is both flannel and I know people were asking about a little video from her when she did her Halloween blanket, but she was not interested in doing that. So I don't know. Maybe she'll do a video for this. All right. And so Cameron's doing pink, uh, like pink wonderland in her room. Kamani's doing candy land in her room. So it's going to be pinks, blues, greens, whatever, just like candy land in her room. Uh, like sweets and stuff in the posh room I got a little tree and Lisa made these uh ornaments for me from for the ornament swap and it's Tula fabric and it gave me an idea that I can make Tula ornaments out of some of my Tula fabric and just make a Tula pink Christmas tree in here so I think that's what I'm gonna do I bought I'm gonna show y'all what uh the little tree I bought but um they, the girls each got an artificial tree from Goodwill. Kamani one is about like four feet. Cameron one is six feet. <laughs> but I paid $7 for Kamani's tree and like $17 for Cameron's tree. And they're excited. Okay. So also at Joann's, Kamani saw this on clearance for a dollar. It's just, I don't think it was clearance. I think that was regular price. It's just a jar of fake snow, like snow i don't know she wanted it it was a dollar so i was like okay cool uh for the baby quilt i got this flannel for the backing i got this safari fabric the baby is gonna be uh the baby's room is decorated safari so we're going safari with it and then as just like a little supporting fabric. I got this green gingham. I love gingham, y'all. And this green gingham is so cute. So I got that. And that is going to... Okay, so before I knew that the baby's room was safari, I had bought a panel to make this baby quilt. The panel is not safari, but it does have animals on it. So I'm thinking I'll still use the panel. Oh. I'm thinking I'll still use the panel because elephants are in the safari fabric. Maybe not this panda, but the elephant is in there. The giraffe is, is in the fabric. And then what's this? A whale is not safari. But anyway, we'll see. When, 
when I, I'll probably make a video. I'll probably probably make a video whenever I put that together. All right, and the last piece of fabric I got was this fabric. So downstairs, our house, we plan on doing gingerbread theme. That's our theme for Christmas this year. Um, in previous years, we did a lot of peppermint theme. But when we moved to this house, none of the Christmas stuff came with us. So we're starting from scratch, y'all. And I'm, I'm kind of depressed about it because you know you save your christmas stuff every year and you build and you build and you build and this year we're starting from zero so and if y'all know me i like a deal i don't like to spend a lot of money at one time so i'll probably collect things here and there up until christmas and that'll just be what it is but we're starting over with the gingerbread theme and this fabric was on the clearance section so i just got a half yard of it because it was clearance and gingerbread so i don't know what i'll do with it at all maybe make a little pillow or something and what else did i get from joann's i got okay our joann's that when you're walking through um the little area to get to the register they have a little clearance section so i got this cup on clearance i love a stainless steel cup y'all i love cups period i'll pick them up if they're cheap so this was four dollars three ninety nine for a 30 ounce stainless steel cup. I don't know how good it is, but I keep cups with me at all times. I keep a cup of water with me at all times. So um, this will just be added to the bunch. And it has like the little slider top or whatever. The last cup I bought was from Walmart in the on the clearance, which was this towel cup. And I think it's 32 ounces, no, it's 24 ounces. And it does not keep my ice cold, y'all. So I thought it would really work because it has a screw metal lid. It does not keep my ice frozen. Now, the Ozark brand from Walmart. The Ozark brand from Walmart is just as good as a Yeti, just as good as a Hydro Flask. It will keep your ice cold. I got the big one that looks like the Stanley Cup, the 40 ounce in the Ozark brand. They're only $20. Stanley Cup is 40 that ice will hold for like 36 hours because I fill it up. I use that big one. I only use whenever I go to um our homeschool learning lab because I know I'm out all day and I need a big cup. So I only use it for that. I fill it up in the morning. The last Monday that we went, I filled it up in the morning. And when I got home, I put the cup on the counter and I forgot about it. The next night, it still had ice in it. So... The Ozark brand from Walmart, best best um one that I've used so far. Well, you know, besides Yeti Hydro Flask or whatever. So the girls each got these little cups. They're plastic, but they're double wall plastic cups. They were a dollar seventy nine. So I'm like, Kamani needed a cup with a straw for just her because um she's always filling up cups and leaving them around the house. So I told you, you need one with a lid that you can bring around. So being that they're the same, I'll put their names on them so they know who is for who because they will fight about it. All right. I think that's all I got from Joanne's, y'all. So that was my little... And I'm looking around to be sure. Yeah, that was the Joanne's part of the haul. So now I'm going to show y'all what we got at Dollar Tree. So, so my mind is while I'm at Joanne's and all the other stores, I look at all the little the decorations that I like. And then I'm like, if I can find some at Dollar Tree, we'll do Dollar Tree. Or if I can make it, I'll make it. But we went to Dollar Tree with our Christmas stuff on the brain. So uh, all, we got a whole bunch of Christmas stuff from Dollar Tree. Now, Dollar Tree also does their $3 and their $5 items. So everything is not a dollar. Well, $1.25 now. But um, so Kamani got these ornaments from there. She paid $5 for this whole thing of ornaments. And her tree is only four feet tall, so um, they'll probably they'll be really good filling that tree up with this. And these are the colors that she's going with. The little glittery one down here. So she'll get some more candy ornaments to go, but these are going to be her big main filler. And then she could add in her candy. Okay, she got this at Dollar Tree too. Um, these two. 
I, when I saw these, I thought, it, uh, Kamani, you can wrap these around the tree. You know how you wrap ribbon around your tree? You could do these. They match the theme and they have that kind of like holographic look to them. These were $1.25 each. Um, what is... Oh, the little bottle brush trees with the little peppermints at the bottom. I actually got two of these. One was for Kamani and one for Cameron's room because Cameron is doing pink, remember? So she was going to put some in her room. Kamani's going to put some in her room. Kamani got this for her room. I actually got this to go downstairs because it's gingerbread house. But Kamani stole it because it says sweets and treats and it goes with her theme. So I let her have it. And it lights up. And this was $1.25. It lights up, but it needs a battery. So I got to put a battery in there. What else? I got stuff everywhere, y'all. So I'm making, a, I'm making a mess in here. Um, what else? What else do we have? Here's the other pack of the bottle brush trees. Um, oh, Cameron needed, and this, I'm in Cameron's bag. She paid for this herself, but for her business, she needed some gold beads. So be, this brand was half off at Joann's. So she got these beads. And then at Dollar Tree from the $5 section, she got this for her tree and it's a fur a faux fur uh tree skirt because she's doing white pink and silver is what she told me so yeah this for five dollars i was gonna make her a skirt but when we saw that and it really goes with the theme that she's going with i was like you know what save me some trouble because i'll probably still have to make kamani's skirt and our i might make our tree skirt Okay, Dollar Tree as well for the front yard. I wanted six candy canes, but they only had three of this kind. So now I have to keep my eye out at Dollar Tree for three more. Um, these were $1.25 and they light up because they had the kind that didn't light up. But I wanted the light up one. So these light up uh, LED lights go in the ground. I wanted to line the driveway, three on each side, but... I have to look for three more. I went to two Dollar Trees yesterday and I don't, they only had them at one Dollar Tree and only three, obviously. All right. <laughs> so these ornaments come from Dollar Tree and this is Cam for Cameron's tree. So she got two packs of the pink um, and one pack of the silver. So that is for her tree. Then, oh, at Dollar, not Dollar Tree, at Goodwill, uh, me and Kamani got some of these. So we have two. We paid a dollar. No, yeah, 99 cents. They, I'm thinking they're from last year because the price, they have a bunch of stickers for when the price kept going down. So they probably had them last year trying to sell them for more expensive. But we got them for a dollar. <laughs> All right. Ow. Oh. And then also at Dollar Tree in the $5 section, we got inflatables for the yard. So we got a snowman inflatable. We got a penguin inflatable. And these are each four feet tall. And then we got a candy cane inflatable, which is six feet tall. I might get another one like that if they still have them. And then I got these little gingerbread um, men, uh, what do you call these? Ornaments. I got these for the tr downstairs tree. We usually get a live tree. So um, we will be getting a live tree. So we won't be decor decorating the tree until we get the live tree. Uh, what else? Okay, this came from Dollar Tree. It's just a little container. Um... <laughs> I will be doing a um what do you call it? A cocoa station, a hot cocoa station. The girls love hot cocoa in the wintertime. Every year they go crazy with hot cocoa. So I'm gonna turn where my coffee station used to be because I don't really make my coffee anymore. I usually buy uh co concentrate and make it that way. But I used to, I I got rid of my curate, all of that. So 
I'll make that little area into their hot cocoa station. And this maybe can hold like little things in it on that little area. Maybe I'll go back and get another one. Who knows? I don't know if I'm going to edit out me, all the leaning over I'm doing to grab the things. I don't know if I'm editing that out or what, but sorry if I don't. All right. <laughs> that, yes, I got these at uh, Dollar Tree too. And it's pillow covers. So this one has the gingerbread man on it. It says bake fresh daily gingerbread banking. And I wanted two of these, but they only have one. So the other one I got is the candy cane one. So that'll be cute. And then this was so cute, y'all. This was $3 in the $3 section. You really can't beat that. A whole gingerbread house. It's a little pump for soap. My soap that I use um, next to like my sink, I put my dish soap in there and then I pump my dish soap so that it's just easier to, you know, to get to. So I'm going to put this there. So cute. And, uh, oh, I forgot about one of the biggest things. I got a tree. This is the tree I got from Dollar Tree. I haven't put it up yet. This is the one that will go in here. Um, I It's from Dollar Tree. I'm not expecting much. But when we were in Dollar Tree, they had the tree up. And one of the girls that worked there had decorated it. And I was like, do y'all sell that? Because I know it's, they have the dollar, the dollar 25 trees. Those are Charlie Brown trees. They're, they're small, but they're straggly. Those are Charlie Brown trees. But this one was $5. So it's bigger and a little less stragglier. I don't know if it looks this good, but it's a little less stragglier than the dollar 25 tree. It's still kind of Charlie Brown, but not as bad. So I got that for $5. That'll be my little tulip pink tree in here. If I have time to make tulip pink ornaments, who knows? And we know I have two ornaments. <laughs> and then I got two packs of lights for it at the Dollar Tree. I, I didn't know if one pack would be enough because I know these are short. They're only five feet. So I got two packs. And that would be it. And that's it, y'all. So... <laughs> I know this uh, haul was a little chaotic, but I really just wanted to make a video. So here y'all go. And there may be more coming up because we're going to be getting ready for Christmas. And if I could do little videos like this that don't take a whole lot of time, but we can still be in the Christmas spirit, then, you know, that's great. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're here and you're not subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't seen the second channel that i've made that's called the creole homestead where i'm going to be doing videos on gardening uh food preservation self-sufficiency then subscribe to that the link will be down below for that video for that channel <laughs> and that's it y'all i'll see you guys next time bye